Hey everybody! So I thought I'd share a garden tour. A few of you commented on my last post saying that you'd like to see what I have growing this year. And I have Tootsie, my goat, here with me, chilling. Um, so I've kind of worked with a few different gardening methods since moving to Tennessee, kind of playing around with what works. Um, and this year I kind of went with a more regenerative approach, minimal tilling. Um, if you want to research it, look into the um, Back to Eden gardening methods. And the whole idea is uh, really to work with the earth um, versus working against it. So not um, ending up with like an overproduction of unwanted plants, aka weeds, um, and you know, using compost and mulch and um, all sorts of different things to um, help regenerate the soil. So I'll go ahead and flip my camera to a quick little overview. I'll probably do this again in a few months when I actually have things growing in here. Uh, well, not growing, but I should say producing um, herbs and fruits and veggies and all that. So, so what I did through the whole garden is I laid down um, contract paper or cardboard or even just um, recycled paper that I had left over, as you can see a few pieces right there. So I laid down all that, and that really helps eliminate any um, weeding that needs to be done, of course, because it prevents too much growth coming up. And then I put mulch over top of all of that. And uh, that was definitely labor-intensive, but I'm glad it's over with. So I guess we'll go ahead and start here. We have a cool compost pile going with some veggies and some eggshells. This is actually a marshmallow from last year. Yes, marshmallow is a plant. Um, and it was actually the plant originally used to make marshmallows. Um, and you actually use the root and it produces like a gelatinous texture, which of course is perfect for marshmallows. And uh, so this is a second year marshmallow. So I'll be digging up this root this year. Super stoked for that. And let's see, we've got a couple of sweet potatoes planted and I am loving these rocks that I just gathered all around our property serves as a really nice um, you know container for the rows all right so here we go we've got Brussels sprouts looking good we've got some watermelon Miss Bella loves to be my little garden buddy so yep we got some watermelon we've got a couple cucumbers there I think that's another watermelon. I'm not sure. Maybe it's a cucumber. That one's definitely a cucumber. And we've got some really giant, these ones are supposed to be giant cabbage heads. So I'm really excited for that. And we've got butternut squash. These are peas and I actually grew, some of these I bought, some of these I grew myself. So those are peas kind of scattered through there. And this is actually a lemon balm coming up from last year. So that's always nice when that happens things come up again all right coming around this way we have got more cucumber over here and we've got oh we've got some leftover cardboard all right so let's see oh this is a um a mint and it smells so good and we've got a couple different varieties of bell peppers over here and uh, blueberry, funny thing about this is I planted this um, two years ago in here, this blueberry plant. And then I discovered that our land surrounding the garden is just full of wild blueberries. So that's kind of funny that I'm growing it in here and I have it all around me as well. So, all right. So we've got, um, I'm not really sure what all these are, cabbages or something some cruciferous vegetable in that category we've got a couple of broccolis there switching over this is um, motherwort from last year so motherwort is a really amazing medicinal herb for heart support sleep anxiety mood lots of things so i'm excited to make some medicine with this and i'll be sharing it um, on my website and oh my gosh i just realized this one is already starting to flower. I don't know if you can see that. So pretty. All right. And we've got lots of different varieties of tomatoes. So we'll be coming up on those in a second here. 
tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Here we've got some oregano. It's looking good. Transplanted from my friend's garden. Very gracious of her to share that with me. And this is a lavender from last year and it looks like it's coming up pretty good. Um, and sometimes I do let the wild plants grow a little bit. We don't want to end up with too much craziness. But here's a good example of a clover plant coming up and clover makes an excellent tea especially for the ladies out there that need some reproductive support um and so i don't pick everything because this is useful right so i'll um i'll probably harvest this once it gets bigger and dry it out for tea and yarrow one of my very favorite plants ever is yarrow and this one is starting to flower a few of them are this is another good example of some of the clover that I'm letting grow along with the yarrow and um, you know it serves as a really nice ground cover it doesn't really grow too much taller than where it's at right now so it doubles as um, you know holding in Bella <laughs> Bella come here holding in moisture um, to not dry the plants out too much um, so we'll just leave that there let it do its thing and then I found this at a local um, nursery. It's lemon basil, and I've never grown that, so I'm hoping this does well. It looks a little droopy, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. A couple of tomato plants in here. I'm working on getting the rest of the cages put in. And we've got some zinnias, a couple of wildflowers. We've got bee balm there. And I can't wait to show you this. Look at these poppies. My friend Allison transplanted these from her garden. Look how beautiful. Oh, so pretty. I've never grown poppies, so I'm really excited about that. And we have catnip down here. Another wonderfully medicinal herb, as a lot of these are. And we've got, like I said, a few different varieties of tomatoes big ones small ones yellow ones white ones all the fun um tomatoes and then lastly this is passion fruit or passion flower and it's kind of funny because i planted this over there last year but they love to spread because their fruits are full of seeds so they kind of just started popping up randomly over here. So I thought, oh, you know what? It's a perfect spot. We'll just let them be um, and let them do their thing. So as you can see, we've got a nice variety of passion fruit. Um, gets really viney and long and they tend to be a little bit invasive. So I'm gonna try to keep it contained here as much as possible. So, all right, well, I hope you enjoyed that little garden tour. I'm having fun doing this and it's kind of been a lot of work that it doesn't really look like it's a lot of work but um you know it's it's some labor but it's enjoyable and it's really rewarding to see the results that come from um the work of yard work and gardening so um, i'd love to hear what you guys are growing this year let me know in the comments and uh, we'll check in in another couple months to see um everything that is growing see you later bye